I'll go check out the other rooms. Have fun. <laughs> hmm. 1810. That Eric. Why is he even bothering to look in the other rooms? We already searched through each one when we first woke up. Nothing. I don't think we've seen all of them. Uh, there was that one room we couldn't figure out how to get into. Oh, that's right. Ah! Let's go! crazy is this? I was tapping spots on the wall in the hallway when... You opened some kind of secret door. You did good. I'm impressed. Oh, wow. This room has a whole lot of books. You like to read? Do you like to read? Um, I don't know. Come on. You're talking about yourself here. I don't know. But do I like to read? So, what is this room anyway? A study? Though it's practically an entire library. It seems like someone was just here. Uh, who? The only one who can wander freely would be... Right. It's got to be Zero. So that means... This is Zero's study? If it is, then there's got to be some sort of clue. Something about who Zero is, or how to get out of this crazy place. If anything was hidden in here... Those safes would be the best bet. Let's start looking.
What does kill one mean? Must mean we have to kill someone. Oh, we have to. What the? Is that? No! Junpei! Akane's left. But why in the world did D-Team... The execution. Back during the vote at 1330, D-Team was... Well, the reason why isn't the issue. What's important is the reveal of five X-Passes. In other words... If one more person dies... down first. But what, what are you saying, Eric? If, if, if I put mine down, then you'll... Huh? Look over there! Why, Mira? We're in love. Aren't we? Um, Eric, this will be hard for you to hear, but I think you might be mistaken about that. You're lying! Then why is a gun pointed at you right now? No, it's not what it looks like, Eric. I love you with all that I am. Mira. So you know what you need to do, right? Huh? You don't get it? Uh, um, what do you mean? God, how dumb can you get? Mira, this isn't you trying to get Eric to kill me, is it? Don't be stupid. I have this gun pointed at him so that I can protect you, of course. If I drop my weapon, then Eric will. And Eric, how about you putting yours down first? No way. Not happening. If I put this down, you'll definitely kill Mira. There's no way I would. How would I know? What proof do I have that you won't up and fire that thing? anywhere like this. If just one more person dies, 
one more person. One more. Just one more. Are you... for real? <laughs> this is... a joke, right? Mm, looks like it got you pretty good. You'd probably come out okay if we moved to help you right now, but... M Mira? Eric, I'm going to kill you. I... I see. Of course. Ooh, only me. One more. Do you have any last words? Mira... I... forgive you. You... Look better when you smile. <sighs> Why? You're asking me that? You're the one who took the first shot. Y yeah, you're right. But how, how can you be so calm about it? Calm? Oh no, I'm actually surprised right now. I had no idea his last words would be the same as my first. Your first? No, not that way, it's something else. First of all, it's not as if I was actually dating him or anything. I guess you weren't really in love then. I suppose he thought we were though. I just let him go since it would have been a hassle. A hassle? What about how Eric feels? His feelings, huh? I haven't really been able to understand emotions my whole life. Anger, sadness, pain, fear, and things like love. So when Eric said he liked me as much as he did, I didn't know why. I don't even really understand what he said before he died. I'm going to touch Eric's heart. Ever since I was little, I've always been told I'm callous and unfeeling. Why did the faces on people change? I never understood what expressions were. I'd take a mirror and practice making them every day, but they never quite looked right. One day my mother told me something. Deep inside a person's chest is an object called a heart. This heart controls their emotions and changes their expressions. I remember thinking, that's unfair. Why was everyone hiding this important thing inside so no one else could see? I wanted to see what it looked like. I decided my first would be a woman, about the same age as my mother. I waited on an isolated street so there would be no bystanders. And then I stabbed her without warning with a small knife I brought with me. I'd practiced on animals, but I was still surprised by how fast she collapsed. Why did you do this? I want to see what a heart is. I think I'm the only one who doesn't know. Oh, God. Hey, that's where you hide it, right? I know where it is. Hurry up and show me! <laughs> I... 
forgive you. So please, don't ever do something so, so terrible again. Can you do that? Why? Because smiles look better on you. Smiles? The woman didn't answer me. Patted at her face for a long time. She didn't even blink anymore. Mm. When I gave up on waking her, I thoroughly searched for her heart. It took some time, but I soon felt an unfamiliar, warm, comforting sensation. I knew it. It was here. The last expression the woman formed on her face was a smile. Well, that's when I realized that this kind of moment was when you should smile. I began to hunt for that, reaching out and touching heart after heart. I was terrible at it at first. I barely touched hearts and always badly. But after doing it over and over again, I eventually got better at it. Fear, hatred, sadness. I learned about so many emotions by touching hearts. And there was always new expressions to see. But unfortunately, after that first, I was never able to find that comforting heart. I wanted to feel that warmth one more time. I wandered aimlessly, searching to find someone who held that same warmth. And that was how one day, I came across Eric. He was working at an ice cream shop. With one glance, I could tell he was useless. No talent, no worth, nothing. I've seen many hearts of those like him, but none held my interest. Naive, helpless weaklings. It's as if they're amusing creatures simply there to be exploited. That's all I saw them as. But Eric... Something felt different with him. I stopped by the shop several times to watch him. I just had to figure out how he was different from all the others. I tried talking to him. I spent time speaking with him, going places together to learn how he reacts. But I still didn't know. At one point, I thought I'd made a mistake. But... This is it. I knew Eric would be different. I had a hunch when I first met him, and I was right. I told you, didn't I? And his last words were exactly the same as my firsts. How incredible is that? Oh, oh. this person really, truly loved me. So this is love. This. Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Junpei. QT, Eric. DT, Diana, Bob. I just noticed. I think that's an anagram. An anagram? You switch the letters around to get a different meaning. The truth is invisible. So that's what it changes to, huh? What do you think it means? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's similar to a human heart. You can't see it because it's hidden inside your chest. All right, 
Should I put them in? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. 